Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore how NASA's Tess and Spitzer uncovered something extraordinary far beyond our solar system. Discovering an Earth-like exoplanet covered with active volcanoes, an alien world that challenges everything we thought we knew about rocky planets, heat, and the limits of habitability. An Earth-sized exoplanet, which is orbiting a star in a galaxy next to the Milky Way, has provided scientists with the best evidence to date of the existence of active volcanoes beyond our solar system. The observations made by the scientists suggest the existence of a rocky and rugged world, the surface of which witnesses constant eruptions. Scientists said that the third planet, which was found orbiting a particular dim star, is most likely covered with active volcanoes, which is similar to Jupiter's moon Io. Io is our solar system's most volcanically active body. In the solar system, Venus and Earth are volcanically active, as are a few moons of Jupiter. The volcanism of the planet was not observed directly, but rather inferred, because of its gravitational interaction with the largest of the two planets, which were also orbiting the dim star. The larger planet's gravitational tug may flex and squeeze the newly identified planet, because of which its interior may be heating up and causing volcanic activity on the surface, similar to Io, said the researchers. Planets that exist outside our solar system are called exoplanets. Speaking about the alien planet, University of Kansas astronomy professor Ian Crossfield said, There is not yet any direct observational evidence of exoplanet volcanism, but this planet is a particularly likely candidate. Crossfield is one of the co-authors of the research which has been published in the journal Nature. The planet does not rotate because of which one side perpetually remains in daylight and the other in complete darkness. On the day side, it is too hot for liquid water so it is likely very dry and hot, likely a desert. On the night side, there is possibly a large icy glacier, stated co-author of the research Bjorn Benecke, who is also the head of the astronomy group at the University of Montreal. The most interesting region is near the Terminator region, where the day and night side meet. Here, water from the night side glacier can melt and possibly form liquid surface water. In addition, there is likely volcanism all around the planet, even under the ice on the night side, and possibly under the water near the Terminator, Benecke stated. The planet has been found in the Milky Way about 86 light years away from our solar system. It was spotted in the direction of the constellation crater. I imagine a rugged young surface for the planet after many millions of years of constant volcanic activity. Since the gravitational effects don't care about day and night side, I also suspect the volcanic activity to be evenly spread over the planetary surface, stated the University of California, Riverside planetary astrophysicist and study co-author Stephen Kane. Since the planet is so volcanically active, it is still contributing gases to the atmosphere from the interior. As such, the planet probably still has an atmosphere, the planet is unlikely to be habitable, however, since the total amount of energy makes for a quite hostile environment. Who knows? Life may find a way, he added. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.